How can a facilitator help the team in setting realistic and achievable sprint goals? So this is an interesting one because the purpose of a facilitator is, if we look at it from a meeting perspective, to keep people on track, guide their attention back to the purpose of the meeting, right? And ensure equal voice, ensure everybody who wants to can participate. So it might, on first glance, leave people thinking, well, that's not their job. They're not there to help them set an achievable sprint goal. They're there to give them a place where they can come up with one. And I have some sympathy of that. However, if we think of facilitation as a bigger picture thing, it's not just about meetings. Facilitation at its core is about making other people's lives easier. All right? It goes all the way back to its Latin roots. Okay? It's about making things easier. So if facilitation is not just about how do I run a meeting and get people out on time having delivered what they want, but it's how do I make people's lives easier for them? Being a facilitator is absolutely appropriate here. Hi, my name is John McFadgen. I'm a certified Scrum trainer with Scrum Alliance. I'm the managing partner at Agile Center, and I've been in the Agile and Scrum world now for over 20 years. So if we're going to take that broad, broader scope as somebody who makes other people's lives easier, what can we do? What can we do to help them? Well, one of the first things you're going to have to do, and this is one of the really enduring things that a scrum master does, that a facilitator does in a team, is remind them of reality. You did 30 points last sprint. You did 30 points of sprint before. You did 30 points of sprint before that. What's changed that means you're going to do 200 this sprint? Just asking questions. You're not telling them yes or no. You've just got an eye on the art of the possible. They're not going to get there. Okay. But I want them to tell me what's different. Because the chances are not enough to have a six, seven, a fold increase in their ability to deliver. Okay. But I want them to come back with that. So if they can't achieve all that stuff, how does this goal that is built on top of all of that stuff stack up? Okay, so if we've reduced the amount of that, what's important here? The art of facilitation here is really using some of that coaching stance asking questions that probe people's thinking, get them to expand their thinking, look at different options. Are there any other ways that we could approach that? And this is what you're going to be doing. Helping that team craft a goal that is achievable, absolutely, but is also sensible in the meaning of it makes sense. It's something that they can achieve. It's something that the product owner and the stakeholders want. All of these things do matter. Actually, as a facilitator over the years, what I've preferred to do is get teams to deliver less than they think they can, build a good, coherent goal around it. This is why this stuff matters. And then, if they run out, which they rarely do, there's a big list of stuff. There's a whole product backlog of additional work that they can take on. They can work with their product owner as they're running out and saying, look, looks like we're going to have a few days spare at the end of this. What else would be good to get done? What would be useful? But the goal is delivered. And for me, this is one of the big things, creating an identity as a team. We are people who do what we said we would. We deliver the goal. We deliver high quality. Because with an identity like that, we can start pushing. We can get them to the point of saying, well, you delivered 30 points last sprint and the sprint before. Is 32 doable? Is 35 doable? Right? Yeah, it is. And that identity is going to kick in. It's going to pull them forwards. And they're going to slowly gather speed. And if everybody's doing their job correctly, they're going to be delivering more stuff. But more importantly, more valuable stuff. This is what we're trying to do with the sprint goal, is give people a reason to deliver, a reason to come together, work together to get stuff done. Very often when I consult, I have people say, well, they're a team. It's, okay, what's the goal? Oh, they don't have one goal. They work on five different systems, one for each of them. Okay, so they're not a team. They're a bunch of people who are paid 
to tolerate each other's presence. What a shock, a team focused thing isn't working for them. How about instead we find that one thing that in the next couple of weeks they need to deliver and they can then work out how to deliver it together, collaboratively. They're going to support each other. That's the point of this sprint goal. As a facilitator, our job is not to come up with it. Though if we are a scrum master and a developer, we're part of the team, of course we have a place. But what I really want are those developers, the people building the product to know that this is a valuable thing to achieve and it's an achievable one.